In this video, I'm going to show you how to get hands-on experience for free when you are preparing for Cisco certification exams. Most of the time when people want to pursue their career in the networking field, especially when they are student and very young, they do not have a lot of money to buy real expensive switches or buy other tools to practice Cisco CLI commands and configuration. It happened to me when I was preparing for my CCNA exam. And at the time, I did not know there are a lot of free tools available to get hands-on experience. So that's why I want to make this video and show you what are these free tools so you can get benefited from these tools. The first tool is called Cisco Packet Tracer. It is a tool developed by Cisco Networking Academy and it is free. After you downloading this software, you need to create a Cisco Networking Academy account. I do have an Academy account. Let me log into the software. Now I am in the software and you have a lot of devices here to practice. So you have routers, you have switches, you have hubs and you have other IoT devices including wireless LAN controllers and you have security appliances and you have PCs, servers, all kinds of stuff. This is called a simulation mode. That means you feel like you are working on a real Cisco switch. So let's get a switch here. Take a simple switch. This is a 2960, very old switch. And you go into the CLI mode, enable. This is one of the command to get into the configuration mode, configure terminal and you get into the configuration mode say you want to create a vlan vlan 100 name test vlan 200 name prod so you created the vlan it's very similar to your real cisco switch even though packet tracer is a great tool and is more than enough for you to practice CLA commands and configuration for your CCNA exam, it doesn't have all the feature that you can see on a real switch. Say for example, if you want to see the configuration on port FA01 that I have just configured, you cannot use the command show run int FA01 that you can run on a real switch. It says invalid input detected. To look at the configuration on this port, you need to look at the running config. Show run, and now you can see what is configured on port 01 among other configuration. Like this, there are many commands doesn't work in the Cisco Packet Tracer environment that will work on a real switch. So how we are going to get hands-on experience on a real switch or real switch-like environment that is running a real Cisco IOS operating system. That is where Cisco DevNet Sandbox come into play. In Cisco DevNet Sandbox, you can get into something called Cisco Modeling Lab, where you can work on a real Cisco IOS environment, and you will have all the features what you find in a real Cisco switches and routers. If you want to buy a Cisco Modeling Lab personal version, it costs you around $200 subscription per year. But asking a student to purchase $200 license subscription per year, it might be a big ask for them. That is why Cisco came up with an idea of a DevNet Sandbox. With DevNet Sandbox, you need to book a time, a max four hour window, and then you can practice within that time for free. So let's look at how to get into the Cisco modeling lab using DevNet Sandbox. Open your favorite web browser and type in devnetcisco.com and you have multiple ways to log into the DevNet environment. You can have a Cisco login or you can use your Facebook, Google, GitHub or WebEx login. So I'm going to use my Facebook login and go to learn here and then get into the sandbox. Get started with the sandbox and go down to Cisco Modeling Lab. I would go with the regular version and hit reserve. Notice the time is in UTC. 
the default is two hours hit the edit here and go to duration and increase your time to four hours now reserve it and you can see the setup has already started normally it take 10 minutes I'm going to pause this video and come back when it is ready so now my setup is ready it says active sandbox will end in 3 hours 47 minutes so let's get into this Cisco modeling lab and practicing on those switches if you read through this one it will tell you all the details of the Cisco modeling lab and I'm going to go to here post reservation access detail this is the detail you need to get into the Cisco modeling lab sandbox users reserve the CML sandbox and receive software VPN access information and credentials via email at the start of the reservation so you have to go to your email and get all these details that will tell you how to access your Cisco modeling lab let's go to the email here is my credentials it says your Cisco DevNet sandbox lab is ready click on here if you do not have Cisco any connect installed on your system you need to download the Cisco VPN client I'm going to click on this one and download the client click on here because I'm running a Windows operating system double click on setup and go to yes select the any connect modules you wish to install I'm going to select all of them which is the default accept it says you must reboot your system for the installation changes to take effect after you install the Cisco AnyConnect you need to use the Cisco AnyConnect software to connect your internet so I'm going to connect to my internet now I need to use this address to connect to the lab VPN you need to put that address here and type in connect and this is my username and password copy my username and copy my password it is establishing the VPN session now and you can see now I am connected to access your sandbox lab go directly to your Cisco modeling lab here we go this is my sandbox connection to get into the Cisco modeling lab you come here and click on this link it will ask you the username and password to log into the CML for the very first time after you put this username and password you will be prompted to the workspace on the CML let's go to the show list and it will tell you a sample network built on iOS XC next OS iOS XR and ASA device include Linux host and you have 14 nodes in this already built lab but we are going to build our own one to do that I'm going to say click add and I'm going to add the nodes here these switches and routers are running real Cisco operating systems to start practicing your CLA commands and configuration click on the node and you will see the node information Cisco IOS version L2 and if you click on this one you will see the node information will change so I'm going to go back here to get into the configuration you go to simulate I'm going to start the device and let's see in the console you can see it is starting the OS from the flash 2 you can see it is at the prompt here insert host name here I'm going to go to enable mode conf t host name net lab now you see host name changed show int status and you can see I have only four interfaces if you look at here in the interfaces you can add 
interfaces, but you cannot add interfaces now because the device is running. Stop the device, go back to simulation mode, stop it. Probably I need to wipe this device, wipe node, confirm. Now go back to interfaces and now you can add interfaces. Four interfaces at a time, add four more and you can see it is adding four more here. And now I go to simulation mode and start the device and go to console. Now it says switch, enable, show int status. You can see all the interfaces, show version, and it tells you what operating system it is running. It is running Cisco iOS software. We mean virtual iOS 12 software. And let's issue a command to look at the configuration of an interface, whether it is uh, emulating a real switch. Show run int cake 0, 0.0 and you can see the interface configuration that you are not able to do this on uh, Cisco Packet Tracer Lab. I'm going to go back to the dashboard again and get into this, the sample network and see how they built it. I'm going to go to simulate, start lab. I'm going to go to one of this switch here and you can see it's an edge switch zero one. Go to console, open console, and you are on that edge switch now. Go to enable, and it is asking a password. Hopefully that is Cisco. I was right, it is Cisco all simple case. As I showed you before, this sample network topology has so many devices that is 14 nodes, 32 links, 97 interfaces with so many different types of operating system. It's a great place to practice the CLA commands and configuration in this sample lab. So let's get into one of these router. And this is a internet router. And let's look at show inventory. And it has a chassis that's a CSR 1000V router. It has a route processor in it. Let's look at what is the operating system it is running. Show version Cisco iOS XC software. And let's look at another device here. This is a firewall. This is an ASA virtual firewall. Show inventory. It is an ASA adaptive security virtual appliance. Show version. This is running ASA 9.15 operating system. And let's look at this one. This must be a Nexus device. Login Cisco password also Cisco show version and it's a Cisco Nexus operating system show int status this has all Ethernet interfaces so Cisco modeling lab is a great way to get a hands-on experience using so many device types and so many operating system types so don't miss out this opportunity provided by Cisco for free. If this video is helpful to you, give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification for my future video updates.